Hey, look, it's Doom 3. BFG edition. That came out. Wait, I remember upgrading my graphics card as a poor college student specifically for Doom 3. Welcome to Mars, Marine. Man, that game holds a lot of history, mostly for being completely dark. No, just kidding, but it was really the first, not including Far Cry, look at what games were going to be like in the future at the time. Of course, that was a long time ago, so now they have this BFG edition, which is remastered. All they want is something to make them more money. What does remastering even mean? The goals of this video are, you know, twofold. Show you what the difference in the graphics are between Doom 3 and Doom 3 BFG. And, um, say shadows at least 10 times. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, Doom 3. Its shadowiness is apparent in every corner. That's what everybody remembers. Mainly because you couldn't have your flashlight out at the same time as your gun. Some people actually kind of thought that was a feature. Shadow management, if you will. And honestly, it totally is. The vanilla Doom 3 with no mods or any tweaking whatsoever, can only do 1600 by 1200. It's not widescreen. And the ultra settings with anti-aliasing cranked all the way up actually ran pretty, you know, not 30 frames per second, which I wanted. So I had to turn the anti-aliasing off. It's been so long. I've never played Doom 3 on a modern system and it, you know, it looks really good. The shadows are super dark. He's in command HQ. take advantage of our quality medical... I was really digging it. So what does the BFG edition offer? Oh man, these walls are bright. Who turned the lights on? I was kind of liking all this darkness and shadowy stuff. Hey, the flashlight's like connected to your armor or something? What? You just keep it on all the time? Uh, I guess that's cool. I mean, this isn't a review or anything. This is just a comparison. So I guess I should stop interjecting my little editorial comments. It does move really fast. Man, it runs way better. BFG edition is like running at 120 frames per second and it looks you know, arguably better in some cases, especially texture-wise. There is something about those shadows in Vanilla Doom 3. I will say that. Shadows are definitely remastered, meaning there are less of them, in a sense. I mean, you can turn the flashlight off and it kind of gives you the same... It kind of evokes the same shadowy darkness that the Doom 3 Vanilla Edition gives you, but it, it's not the same. So that was just a quick look at some of the differences between the remastered edition and the Vanilla Doom 3. Now I know there are some serious mods for the Vanilla Doom, well I guess it's not vanilla if you mod it, Doom 3. It makes it 
really, really good. Check out some YouTube videos and see what I mean. Thanks for watching. Look forward to your comments and stuff. So stay tuned, GameSpot. Shadows, shadows, shadows.